Thank you for joining me. To start, let's right mouse click on computer and go to properties. This gives us basic information about the system. You can see it's a Windows 7 Home Premium Operating System. It's a Dell Inspiron 546. On the right hand side, you can see all of my costs incurred so far to date, $290. That includes this video card. The Windows experience is 3.6. It's a quad core processor with three gigs of RAM, a 64-bit operating system. Uh, let's look a little bit more at the 3.6. That's what's holding me back right now. The 3.6 is based on the lowest number. So you can see here I've got a 7, I've got some 5s, and then I've got this 3.6, which is just killing the system. So we're going to put the new system in. Let's close it out and see what's actually causing this 3.6. Computer, right mouse click, click on Manage. On the left hand side, you're going to left mouse click on the device manager. You're going to look through your icons and you're going to find display adapters. Click on that and then you'll see the system. Now this is the default um, graphics that are in the Dell 546. So this is what we're starting with. Let's close this out and get started. We're going to be putting this GT240 into this Inspiron uh, model desktop. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, it's a GT240. Uh, they're around $40, $50 after rebates uh, nowadays. Uh, this one has a HDMI, a VGA, and a DVI. We're just using the HDMI for this installation because it's just going to a flat screen in the living room. Uh, the current uh, Inspiron has a uh, HDMI and a VGA already on it. Uh, you can see that they're here. There we can get some light. Uh, so we're just going to be uh, putting the new card in and then disabling the onboard video that we have here. Um, the Dell cases just have a couple of screws. I removed them and then the case pops off. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see I already have a couple of cards in there. I have a, a gigabit uh, card that I added in because I wanted a faster uh, connection to the network. And then I have my uh, optical uh, digital that I have here in my toss link. So it gives me the extra space here. Again, you're going to be looking for this space here. You could also, depending on if you buy a single um, card, they're kind of rare, but if you wanted to go through and put in your own video card with like a, a PCI-1 type slot, uh, these could also fit in. Uh, but again, we're going to be using the regular slot. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to take off the screw here and pop one of the panels out. easy enough to come out. Once we do that, we're going to pull out the blank that's there. We'll set that on the side. And then we're going to put the card in. Now, uh, first of all, if there's any plastic or anything else that's on the cards, you're going to want to just peel that off. So then we've got our card here ready to go. And the card is just going to basically sit in there. Now, for these uh, lower end model Dell and HPs, um, you don't want to have any of these with power on them uh, because the power supply is pretty weak. So this is just a straight card. It'll use all the power off there. And then I'm just going to move a cable out of the way, and it should slide right into place. You'll feel a little click, and then it's in place. That's all there is to it. We'll get this put back together. One screw to go back. And we're all set. Make sure you don't have any other cables or anything else. Again, this doesn't require any additional power, so we don't have to worry about it. And there we go. It was that simple to put in a video card into a Dell. Uh, the rest of it will be uh, on the video when we go through and we do the operating system startup. Uh, we get the drivers installed from the DVD, and we get everything updated. Once you start the computer up and you have your video, it's going to go through and do a basic driver uh, installation. Um, it's great because you can see the screen and that's what we need, uh, but we're not going to be using this. So you can just close it out and follow on with the next step. Uh, this step is uh, recommended but not uh, mandatory. 
I would go in and remove whatever control panel for whatever graphics you have. So if you're going from NVIDIA, remove the ATI like I'm doing here, or if you have ATI, uh, remove the NVIDIA, however you're doing it. Uh, but I would truly suggest doing this and removing it first. Again, it's optional, uh, but this is something that I would suggest. Okay, I'll click on finish. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we'll right mouse click on click on manage. Give it a second. Go to device manager. You can see here that it's a standard VGA. That's where we wanna be right now before we install the new uh, drivers. So we'll do that. We're gonna do a restart and we'll be right back. Uh, we've inserted the CD for the drivers. We're going to click on the run or auto run, depending on how it comes up on your system. What you want to do is install the video drivers. So you'll click on that. Uh, this will not take very long because I'm going to speed up the tape and we'll be right back. Okay, it forced to restart. So we're going to right mouse click now that we're back uh, on computer. We're going to go to manage just as we've done in the past. Left mouse click on device manager. And you can see now that when we go to display adapters, it now shows the NVIDIA GeForce GT240. We'll click on properties. Now, uh, this video card is brand new. However, the CD that came with it is old. Uh, so you can see here that we've got an older date. Uh, we can either click on cancel and let Windows Update take care of it, or we can force it by going to update driver. We'll click on search automatically, and now we're going to search online for the software. Now, you want to search online for the software because the online version is more recent than the one we just loaded. If it doesn't search online, it's going to just search whatever's on your computer, which is the latest version. So there we go. Uh, time lapse photography, and now we're to the new driver. It's going to force a restart. That's cool. And now we will click on close. If you try and do anything other than that, it will still try and force the restart, as you can see here. We're back after the restart. Right mouse click on computer, click on manage. Uh, left mouse click on device manager, display adapters, right mouse click, go to properties click on driver and you should see a relatively recent driver date. This is important because you want to make sure that this is different than the device uh, driver date than you had uh, prior to this. You can click on cancel or OK. It doesn't matter at this point. We're not making any changes. And then we're going to close this out and we're going to access the NVIDIA control panel. Now your first thought is to go to the start menu and then go to all programs in NVIDIA, but that's not the way it works with NVIDIA. You actually have to right mouse click on the desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. Uh, once you've done this, you'll be, uh, be able to access different aspects of it. It may give you a, a choice saying you're using the wrong resolution or not the preferred resolution. Choose the one that fits your, your monitor or your television. Uh, for me, I don't want to do 1080 because it's not good for the 10-foot experience. Uh, once you're in the NVIDIA control panel or ATI, uh, you can change the resolutions, look around, change different monitors. You can see I'm at basic uh, 720 resolution with my Samsung uh, Plasma. Uh, again, you can change this based on your uh, different setup. So now the final thing that we need to do is right mouse click, go to properties, and refresh our Windows Experience Index. Uh, basically, just right mouse click. And then you can see that I still have a 3.6 because I have not refreshed it since I have the new video card. And I'll click on rerun the assessment. Now after speeding up the assessment uh, 64 times, you can see I'm now at a 5.9. Now 5.9 means my hard disk is actually the slowest thing now. Uh, so I've actually done quite well. My graphics and my game graphics are 6.8. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, 35 bucks uh, after rebate and I've completely uh, knocked my system out. Uh, not bad for under 300 bucks.